They've got a terrific running back in Jeremy Langford. He's rushed for 100 yards, nine straight games, but he loses a yard here. They're with a heavy package here in short yardage. And they get the first down and more. Langford trying to take it to the house. Inside the 20-yard line. They finally get him inside the five. Here's Bryce Hager right here. He's going to try to get over the top. He's a little bit late. You get some pullers on the offensive line. They're going to pull around. And a wide open hole. List. Senior from Wayne, Michigan. He'll get it again. Actually, that's Nick Hill on first and goal. And he is slammed down. Here's Langford, and he's into the end zone for his 20th. Here's Langford inside the 30. It's Michigan State's turn. Neither team has failed on third down yet. Cook with time, and the catch is made for a first down. No question, Connor Cook knows exactly where these receivers are going to be on every play. First down to the 22. Langford picking a hole, and he gets pushed back. The strength of Bryce Hager. Baylor thought it secured a spot on the playoff. Here's a throwback to the tight end, Josiah Price. He slips a tackle and is finally brought down to the third line of Baylor. Out of an empty backfield. Going to hand it off here to Shelton, who's inside the five and scores. Touchdown, Michigan State. Tackle or the defensive end. Here they are right here. That's Billings. Neither one of them, they understand they don't need to block those guys because it's a perimeter run. Get our offensive lineman downfield and help. Connor Cook is getting rid of it quick. They're also running away from him. Hand off to Nick Hill. Gets starting his eighth game of the season at right tackle. Cook facing pressure from behind. Maybe a, a hitch and a half. If you're thinking quarterback, that's got to be the clock in your head. And it's very difficult to execute as a kicker. Here's Langford getting the call on first down, and he's wrapped up by one of the strongest players. Very good defensive line for Baylor. Cook going to throw it deep, going for Lippitt, just over his outstretched arms. And then they want to set themselves up for next year. They hand it off to Shelton again, and this time the Bears are not fooled. K.J. Smith. Play action here for Cook. Passes high. Fairgrounds in 2010. Michigan State on second down in 10. Cook has Lippitt into Baylor territory with a first down. Here's Bryce Hager right here. There is no way he is going to be able to guard one-on-one -on -one Tony Lippitt. Design in formation by David Warner. They go quick here and hand it off to Langford. Michigan State. It's Langford again. And he powers near the first down marker. Four or five on third down. Need a yard. They'll give it to Langford, and he's got it. Hager grabbed him, but that was after. At the 29, Nick Hill. He gets hit hard at the 28-yard line. Depth from that secondary. Here's Langford, and oh, he tripped trying to make that cut. 14 at 80 all-purpose yards in Michigan State's win. Langford, Cook is out there, trying to help out his back as Langford. So as you're seeing right here, let's see if they can move the ball in a phone booth. Nick Hill is in the game and running back straight ahead. He's met in Baylor territory at the 48-yard line. Far in the first half. It's pressure look from Baylor. No safety deep, and here they come. Cook gets rid of it. It's behind the intended receiver. I want to throw the ball on Trey Waynes. I want to throw it on the safeties, Williamson and Drummond. Michigan State keeping it on the ground on first and ten with Langford, but being conservative here in the first couple plays. Here's a pitch to Langford at trouble with the handle, and he turns it upfield and has the first down. Langford, hopefully it's not a costly play. He looks like he comes up a little bit limping there. Second and five. Cook to his tight end price, a first down. <laughs> He's the last line of defense. As Cook throws in a single coverage to Kings. Cook setting up the screen to Langford. And he cuts it inside instead of going out of bounds. Ferrer is gone. They have got to score. Langford on the run trying to find a hole. Stacked up after a short gain. Now Michigan State's been able to run the ball, but... 
some point, off play action, Connor Cook has got to make something happen. And his pass was in the dirt. There was pressure that time. Third down and seven for Michigan State. Can't afford to give the ball back this quickly to Baylor. Cook stepping up. And again, the pass in the ground. Michigan State has not taken some of those deep shots because it's in their favor right now. See if they do it here. No, nope, it's a run play. Got six yards there. Second down and four. Nearing nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. Play fake here for Cook. And he gets drilled all season long with great protection, but not in this game. Baylor coming again on third down and four. He's hit, but delivers inside the 40-yard line of Shelton. That might be the play that saves Michigan State in this game. Keeps the possession going. We'll see if they can capitalize and cut into that 20-point deficit. They have the potency to score. Here's Lippitt on the reverse. Inside the 20. Lippitt. One receiver, otherwise tight ends and backs. It is Langford, and he is in for a second touchdown today. And he's a, a mismatch in the slot. They're inside the Baylor 40. They'll run Hill. Spins out of the tackle. And Hill with a good burst.